The Pittsburgh Steelers just finished up this week a mandatory minicamp, and before we head over to Latrobe where the Steelers will have more off-season activities, let me just give you a rundown of the biggest storylines of this week of mandatory minicamp. So, as you see in the title of this video, tight end Pat Frymuth is dealing with an injury. It's an undisclosed injury, so you don't know what he's actually dealing with, but he has not had a helmet on during practice at all during mandatory minicamp. But he spoke to the media and he says he feels fine and he should be all good to go for training camp and the Trobe when it starts in July. Also, wide receiver Anthony Miller for the Steelers, he was dealing with an injury earlier in OTAs with a hamstring injury, but he seems to be past that and a full go right now in minicamp. Now, let's move on to the on the field stuff. Enough with the injury talk. Since Pat Frymuth has been sidelined, that means that Darnell Washington has been getting more reps at that tight end position. And during minicamp, he's really stood out. Just the other day, he got two touchdowns in the same practice. And many of his teammates have been speaking out about him, saying that he's looked really good. Just today, just yesterday, I mean, Corey Trace, junior cornerback, says that Darnell Washington is a big body and he looks really good out there on the field. And many of his other teammates have spoken about, about him. So the more reps you get since Pat Fremuth is injured and sidelined, that means that Darnell Washington has a chance to show out and has a chance to get better and better every day. And apparently he's doing that. Also, the other player who's in the title of this video is Anthony McFarland Jr. And coach Eddie Faulkner, the running back coach for the Steelers, was talking about the running backs and he specifically mentioned Anthony McFarland Jr. as someone who's really doing good so far in minicamp and OTAs. Here's what he had to say. Ant Mack, he's an elder statesman in the room. He's somebody that we're talking about and going to take a look at. We already kind of know what it is that he can do and we're just trying to feature him in some things. I think Ant could really definitely be in that role. So, obviously, that means the Steelers' running back position is really open at the third position because we all know Najee Harris, we all know Jalen Warren, those are the top two guys. But that third running back spot is up in the air and it sounds like Eddie Faulkner is talking about good things about Anthony McFarlane Jr. And it's always a good sign when your coach is talking about you. And Anthony McFarlane Jr., when he was talking after practice, he had this to say. It's understanding the game, watching more film, understanding tendencies and formations, and what the defense is trying to do. I never really understood that my rookie year. College, it's easy to get away with stuff. You rely on your athleticism a lot, but in the NFL, you learn quickly. It's not going to be like that. Everyone's good. Everyone's athletic at this level. It's the little things that matter. I've come a long way from my rookie year. So, obviously, the last two seasons, he hasn't really got that much playing time, and he struggled in the limited action that he saw outside of his rookie year. Yes, he saw some time last year towards the end, and he was really succeeding, but it seems like he's staying where he's having a hard time staying on his feet. So he's kind of being too rushed in his movements, and whenever he tries to make a cut, he would fall down or lose stability in his legs. So hopefully now, this season, with a bigger chance to earn that number three spot, because we all knew Benny Snell was getting that number three spot last year, along with Jalen Warren, and he didn't really have a chance, and he was on the practice squad. But now with a chance to make the team, and now with a chance with Eddie Faulkner speaking out about you, hopefully this is a big year for him. And as we know, Eddie Faulkner, he mentioned that he's the eldest in the group, and he has the most experience out of the guys in the NFL, but he hasn't had the most experience actually at the NFL level because he only played in 11 games in 2020 as his rookie. And last season, he only got limited time. So even though he's been in the NFL the longest of that running back group, he hasn't played them much. And he's competing right now with the undrafted rookie in Alfonso Graham, who's also apparently been really good in mini camp and OTAs and has been showing out. So it's going to be a battle and hopefully he's up for the challenge. So before we move into the last topic that you see in the title, which is Steelers release somebody, let's move on to talk about one more person before I do that. Offensive tackle, left tackle, Dan Moore Jr. 
So far in the offseason, it's really been a big win for him. And he's one of the winners because he came in here with a new body. He came in with a new offseason program and he looks a lot different. And secondly, he learned how to play right tackle on his own without coaches having to tell him. So he's learned another position, even though he says it's a hard thing to do because he's so used to left tackle, he's learned it on his own. But not just that. Yes, we could talk about Broderick Jones and him competing with him, but you would think as a guy trying to earn a spot on the team, you wouldn't want to mentor the young guy, the rookie who might take your job. But apparently, Broderick Jones said after practice that the one guy who's really tucked him under his wing, even though he's competing with him, is Dan Moore Jr. Even though he hasn't really had great success and he's really struggled at times with penalties and stuff like that, he's still a guy who came into this league as a fourth round draft pick, but he started right away straight from his rookie season. So he has that two year experience and has basically played in every game since his rookie season. So he has that experience to kind of mentor the young guy in Broderick Jones. And even if Broderick Jones does win the starting job and overtake Dan Moore Jr. at the left tackle position, having a guy who's at least willing to kind of teach the young guy, even though you're competing with him, is a great sign. And overall, him just being that mentor and being the experienced guy teaching, willing to learn new positions, that's just a total win in my books for Dan Moore Jr. in this offseason program in OTAs and minicamp and just the offseason in general. Let's hope it's a battle for the left tackle position now. I said I was going to get to it, so let's move on to the last topic that was in the title of this video. The Steelers have released a safety. The safety is Scott Nelson. So, the team announced on a Friday after the close of the team's 3 day minicamp that Nelson, who's 23 years old and first joined the Steelers on the practice squad in the middle of last season, 2022 season, he stands at 6 foot 2 weighs 205 pounds, and he came out from Wisconsin in college. He did not appear in any game in his two stints on the practice squad for the Steelers last year, and he was officially released now. So, it's a guy who hasn't got much time, but I just want to report on him and tell you who they released, because that means now they have an open st spot on their roster. The roster is gets filled at 90, and right now, after the release, they stand at 89. So maybe that opens up more room for them to sign someone else in the coming days. So if they do sign someone else in the coming days, just know I'm going to cover it. So with Nelson, he was originally signed on October 4th and then released later on October 11th. Then the Steelers later re-signed Nelson again last season on December 27th, as he closed the season with the Steelers on the practice squad. And then in January, when the Steelers signed those guys to reserve contracts and future contracts, he was one of the guys the Steelers signed to that. But now he's officially gone. So if the Steelers make a move and sign a new player with an open roster spot, just know I'm covering it. And with that being said, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about all these storylines from Pat and Fryermuth dealing with the injury, from Anthony McFarland Jr. looking like he's doing good, from Darnell Washington looking like he's doing good, from Dan Moore Jr. mentoring the young rookie and Broderick Jones who he's competing with to this release? How do you feel about all these news and the biggest storylines and what are you most looking forward to coming into training camp and the Trobe starting July? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel level as well if you like serious content, analysis, and reports. Like the video, turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well so you get notified whenever I post the next year's video. I covered everything Steelers this past couple of months. I covered all the draft, all the free agency, every trade we did like Allen Robinson, all the new guys that we have, undrafted, free agents, draft. Just know I covered it all. And if you want to see all the guys' introductions to the team, so you get a better understanding of what they bring to the table, where they came from. All the introductions are on the channel, so go ahead and watch it. And everything moving forward, just repeating the cycle over again. I'm covering it all. This is the best place for Steelers news. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.